you looking so surprised about? You knew perfectly well he was dead. He died about two years ago, you remember? We went to the funeral about 18 months ago, it must be. Ah, yes. I remember at once it came back to me. But I failed to understand why you had to look so surprised to see it in the paper. It wasn't in the paper. It must be three years now since there was talk of his passing away. I was reminded of it by an association of ideas. Oh, it is such a shame he was so beautifully preserved. He was the handsomest corpse in Great Britain, and he never looked his age. Poor old Bobby. He'd been dead for four years, and he was still warm. A living corpse, if ever there was one. And how cheerful he always was. Oh, poor Bobby, poor darling. What do you mean, poor darling? I was speaking of his wife. Her name was Bobby, like his. As they had the same name, people often got them confused. It wasn't until after her husband's death that you could tell one from the other. Even then, people got her confused with her dead husband and gave their condolences to him. Did you know her, dear? I only saw her once, quite by chance, at Bobby's funeral. I never met her, and she... Nice looking. She has regular features, but you can't call her beautiful. She's too tall and too well built. Her features are rather irregular, but everyone calls her beautiful, a trifle too short and too slight, perhaps. She teaches singing. When are they planning on getting married, the two of them? Next spring, at the latest. We couldn't possibly get out to go into their wedding. We shall have to give them a wedding present. I wonder what. Why should we not give them the silver trays that we were given for our wedding, which are absolutely no use to us at all? Oh, it is a shame to see her widowed so young. Lucky they didn't have any children. Oh, children? <laughs> that would have been too much. Who would have taken care of the children? Oh. She's still a young woman. She may quite well marry again. Anyway, oh. mourning suits her extremely well. <laughs> But who would have taken care of the children? Oh, they have a boy in a gown, you know. Oh, what do they call them? Uh, Bobby and Bobby, like their parents. Uh, Bobby Watson's uncle, old Bobby Watson, has spots of money and is very fond of the boy. He could very easily take over Bobby's education. As one would expect. In the same way, old Bobby Watson, Bobby Watson's arts, could easily take over the education of Bobby Watson, the daughter of Bobby Watson. And if that happened, Bobby, the mother of Bobby Watson, could easily be married. Has she only one of you? Yes, a cousin of Bobby Watson's. Who? Not Bobby Watson. To which Bobby Watson are you referring? By the son of the old Bobby Watson, the other uncle of Bobby Watson, who has just died. Oh, it's not that one. It's another one. It's the son of old Bobby Watson, the aunt of the Bobby Watson who just died. <laughs> hey, you mean Bobby Watson, the commercial traveller? They are both commercial travellers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tough job that. They do well out of it, though. Yes, when there's no competition. When is there no competition? On Tuesdays, Thursdays and Tuesdays. Oh, three days a week. <laughs> What does Bobby Watson do on Thursdays? He has a rest. He sleeps. But if there's no competition, why does he not work? You can't expect me to know everything. I can't answer to all your silly questions. <laughs> <laughs> You've just said that to upset me! You know perfectly well I didn't. <laughs> You've been all alike. All you do is sit there all day with a cigarette in your mouth. Put lipstick on and blush on your face 50 times a day. That is when you can take time out from your drinking. I'd like to know what you say. If men carried on like women do, smoking all day long, sticking powder and lipstick all over their faces and gouting down the whiskey. <laughs> well, you can say what you like, but you were saying that to get at my don't. I don't like that sort of thing. You know very well. Why are you spitting fire like that, my little roast chicken? You know I only said it for fun. <laughs> what a ridiculous couple of old lovers we are. <laughs> <laughs> Come along now, we'll put the lights out and go find us. Ha, 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 ha.